My son Colin was shot four times at Virginia Tech and luckily survived. His life has been changed and his whole family's lives have been changed. Um, people ask, well, why Virginia Tech? Why, why do you think you have such a right to speak? And I would like to remind people that Virginia Tech is in the spotlight. We didn't ask as parents to be in the spotlight. I would give anything for my son not to have been involved. But he was involved and we are in the spotlight and I feel a tremendous responsibility to share what I have learned with other people who maybe can learn something from it and maybe can do something to avoid this happening in the future. I learned things after that shooting which I don't want anyone else to have to learn. I don't want people to learn what happens to, to, to gunshot wounds in, when you're in hospital. They don't sew them shut. Your, your child or whoever it is lies there on the bed and bleeds and bleeds and bleeds and bleeds. And they often have to use sandbags to try and stop the bleeding, but they don't sew it shut because of fear of infection. I sat and watched my son bleeding, and I watched him for hours as the blood drained out of him. And I, I made a, a, a commitment at that time that if he was to make it through the night, I was going to do everything I could do to make sure no other father in the U.S. has to sit next to their son's bed or their daughter's or their wife or anyone else's bed and watch them bleed in that way. So we didn't ask to be here today, but we support a number of measures, the gun show loophole being an obvious one. Background checks save lives. Background checks save lives only if they're applied. If there's a way that a person can buy a gun without a background check, how can those background checks save lives?